This is Roberto Palma. I'm a level two Maxon support analyst at IBM. I work with the system administration team. And now I'm going to show you how you can restrict specific users from changing specific statuses in the work order tracking, for example. So you can see some users have the option to approve, cancel, close, complete work orders. And the access to those options is actually controlled by the security groups that the user belongs to. For example, they can grant the access to cancel the work order. So how do you do that? The first thing we have to do is to create a condition uh, to evaluate what is the user. Um, actually, I'm going to try with a specific user called Bob. So the first thing that I want Maximo to do is to validate if Bob is the connected user. So this is an exception because the conditions that you set for the security groups apply to, the, to all of the users of that group. But you know, remember, this example is just for once, one specific users or the users that you set in the condition that you want Maximo to consider. So as you can see, username not in Bob. So this means that I don't want the user called Bob to do changes. So we save this record. And the next step is to go to the domains application and make sure that for the specific status that I want to restrict a specific user from changing, I set the conditions for that. So we chose the canceled status and we need to enter the condition we just created. So uh, users that are not Bob are going to have access to, to that specific value status only. So we log as Bob user now. If you go to the work order tracking and we search for any record that we, we may try to cancel for, for example, this work order, you're going to see that when I go to the change status comment, the cancel the status is not here anymore. So you don't see that because we entered the condition that evaluated the condition true for the user Bob. What if we try with another user, Jose, for example? Let's see. You sign in with Jose and you go to the work order tracking and we're gonna try to do the same thing. We're gonna choose the same work order and we're gonna try to change the status and for your surprise, you can see the canceled uh, value uh, here on the change status list. And the most interesting thing is that both users belong to the same groups and I'm going to show you right now. So we go to the users application to display the Bob and Jose. And if we go to the groups tab, so Bob belongs to the everyone and Bob groups. And if we go to the next record, you see that Jose belongs to the same groups. So this way you are able to restrict specific users from doing some change status actions. Thank you guys. That is the tip for today. I hope you enjoyed.